A critically acclaimed composer, recording artist, and educator, Mark Lomax II specializes in the social and political aspects of African American art, music, identity, and community. Heavily influenced by his father, a pastor, and his mother, a composer of gospel music, Mark was introduced to gospel and jazz at an early age. I never chose an instrument. I've been playing the drums since before I can remember. My mother tells a story where when she held me as an infant, I would tap on the back of her ear. And it's a habit that I have now, especially when I'm tired. So I've always been a drummer. Well, when I moved from Seattle about uh, two years ago, everyone said I had to meet this guy named Mark Lomax, and they described him as a jazz drummer. But when I met him, he was everything, um, a jazz drummer and so much more. Uh, he's a musicologist, an activist, a scholar, and um, I was just amazed that this guy um, was in our midst. I think oftentimes people don't appreciate the kind of genius that, that lives in a community. They always think it has to be imported in. He's a tireless worker, and he's not just an artist, but he's also a philanthropist. Uh, he works for the Columbus Foundation and does a lot of ver very important work in the community. But I think, you know, he does something that I, I greatly admire, which is he, he's, a, he's a scholar and a philosopher at the highest level but the way that he talks about his work is at is such an approachable level that everyone can understand. And I think, you know, um, he's a tremendous bridge builder as a result. Lomax recently completed his most ambitious project to date, 400, an African epic. The 12-album cycle traces the history of black America back through thousands of years of history on the African continent into an optimistic future for the African diaspora. The goal of 400 in African Epic is to mend the connection between African Americans and their authentic culture that was cut off by slavery. I think that by facing this story together, we can all heal and uh, hopefully regain balance with each other and the globe because it's not looking good right now. I think music is important as a means of kind of engaging difficult conversations, particularly music without lyrics because it's open to interpretation. What I hope people take away from their first experience of any piece would be the authenticity of the work. So my work deals with three major concepts, um, identity, authenticity, and power. And the belief there is that understanding who you are allows you to behave authentically in the world, whatever that means for you. And that authenticity renders power that you already have innately as a human being. Please welcome, please welcome Mark Lomax II to the stage. Thank you. Uh, first, I have to say all praise to the all that is for the all that is us, um, because we are one human family. Uh, love and gratitude to my wife. <laughs> because this has not been easy. Um, thank you to my family at the WEX, to the Johnstones, for believing in me, to my family at the Columbus Foundation. Thank you all for the support over the last few years. As I worked, and my wife can attest, sleeplessly, tirelessly to write and record 12 albums. Uh, and we actually released 15 in the last two years. Um, uh, <laughs> Thanks also to the great folks at GCAC and OAC for creating a fantastic climate for artists in uh, Central Ohio and the state. And finally, I accept this award in hopes that my work inspires all of us to see each other in ourselves, to live in harmony with the universe and the planet. and to practice a politics of humanity that allows all of us 
to thrive and flourish. Thank you.